awfully nice of you people, considering that I spent about the last six hours back at my hotel sleeping. <laughs> and showering. <laughs> Before we even get started, I gotta tell you guys, most of your corner workers who did 12 and some of them said, you know what, I want to power through 24, they're here, they made it. <laughs> your seat of your rental for all that time. Imagine what they're doing out there in the sun and the wind watching us go around and around and around and around. I think they did a great job. So. Yo, anybody yeah. spread to that side? Anybody Shove around around you, around. you guys in the back, can y'all roll over to the right? Everybody in the back, we've got a mic. Do I need it? Can you hear me back there? I'll take that as an okay. <laughs> All right. So as you know, what we regard as the most inconsequential accomplishment of any car race is the guy that goes around and around most often. Oh, we're all so impressed. You're so fast. Oh, gosh, okay. But I guess we got to acknowledge it anyway. <laughs> so that would, of course, be your overall winner dominating the field, almost leading pole to pole as far as I could tell. Give it up. A flawless performance. 3-3-3, three, 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 Pulp Friction. <laughs> Should not run at all. Uh, really, a, really a 
a stunning performance. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of ironies here, including the fact that is the part that came out of the very same car, cleaned up and turned into a trophy. <laughs> now, this car went out. Generally, these cars, they run badly over long periods. They run badly in hot weather. They, um, they and cold weather. And cold weather. <laughs> and short period of rain. Uh, they don't like to be run up near red line. Uh, they don't like to be turned too much, and the brakes are terrible. Uh, all three of them. And yet, nevertheless, I think 17th overall over 24 straight hours, including stops, including a little mechanical work. A little. Phenomenal performance for Mr. Scrubbing Bubbles, the Beatles. Also, I believe, made from parts from your car. <laughs> this is the Really Bad Idea Award. Uh, this is the guy who just conceived of a hopeless plan, uh, went ahead and executed it despite all odds, good, good, you know, good advice, everybody saying that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Guy went and did it anyway. And uh, what this guy did... His, uh, his girlfriend said, you know what, honey, for your birthday, I think we should take you to a race. <laughs> and she's thinking, like, we'll go to Sears Point, you know, we'll have a, we'll go to Monaco, it's going to be awesome, we're going to have a romantic, and he says, that's great, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tow my hoopty ass lemon scar behind a VW Vanagon from California, <laughs> all the way to Texas, top speed, by the way, 53 miles an hour. <laughs> I'm going to get there, drive a 24-hour race in a terrible car, and then, what the hell, on the way home, you know, it's going to take me so long to tow it home, I'll stop at Denver on the way next week and race it again. <laughs> It seems to be working out so far. <laughs> <laughs> the Heroic Fix Trophy. See, now we get down into the really interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah. Uh, the Heroic Fix. So these guys never done a car race before. Car had never done a race before. Um, they had some of the typical reversals involving transmission parts flying out at warp speed, <laughs> poking holes in various metal objects on their way to earning freedom. Future they, trophies. They had, <laughs> they had ignition failures. I mean, they're way out in the deep toolies, these poor guys, and they're thinking, well, why are we doing this? But they pursued. They had a smile on their face all the way through. So you got to give credit to first-timers who... Rebuild transmissions in the pits at night in the dirt because they just don't want to give up. For the first time. For the first time ever. So that would be 713, the Silver CRX. <laughs> They brought two driver's suits and one helmet and no plan for fueling. Is that right? <laughs>
we have a first time event here. This is a three way shared tie award for the I Got Screwed Award. Three different teams shared this honor. Uh, car 6, car 200, and car 560. They all had horrible experiences. Um, they all. You know, they just hit this brick wall, and the only thing that all three of those teams had in common, what makes this a common event, is that the brick wall occurred when Brandon Spears was invited. <laughs> Car six was running stronger than it had ever run before. Fifth I saw, overall. I saw that for you. Sensory Assault was running fifth overall until they let Brandon drive and now it's in. 200, same story, and 560, I believe, is still in Brandon's driveway. <laughs> Give it to Brandon. All right. Yeah! Uh, you want to do Judge's Choice, Scott? Let's move to Judge's Choice. Thanks, buddy. So, Bye. by the way, I should also let nice you know, you, you guys are here. Scott Carr's first role as Chief Justice of a race. <laughs> Alright, Judge's Choice. If any of you know, we love our Judge's Choice. We love when people come for the first time. They just they have this warmth about them. And we're always looking for those little guys that don't really know what they're doing. But they do. <laughs> really, it's a hard thing to find. <laughs> but some people do it right. They were, I think her words were, I read the rules and then I read them four more times to make sure I understood them. I love to hear that. What a waste of time. So, that being said, this car ran every time they drove by the penalty box and they did have to come and see us. They would wave. <laughs> Apparently that's a trait of their little mini car club. So let's give it up for car number 36. Not so many. All right, everybody, take one and pass it back. There you go. Very well done. Very well done. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Choice. These are another team that showed up first time ever. I think they really did it right. They had great yeah. outfits. They were in character. They prepped their car really well. They were not an irritation. These guys were <laughs> fabulous. And they went out and they just circulated around. I don't think they gave you any trouble either. No. And they totally cracked us up so hard in uh, in tech inspection. We were keeping our eyes on them. I just thought these guys were awesome. The red heavy metal rockers. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon's pit. Right um, don't drive over there. Right there. <laughs> don't. And our 
right, so the top award, the index of affluency, this is the car that achieves the most from the least promising platform, uh, and in this case, perhaps the least promising team as well. <laughs> These guys, uh, top 20 finish, more or less, I think they were out there running around and around and around all night long in a car that I thought was going to run about two hours. Best of all, every time I saw it, I just cracked up, which I was up in the tower for the first 12 hours, and so every two and a half minutes, I was like, oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really even need to give them much more of a send-up, because I'm pretty sure you guys will agree that the honor for this race ought to go to Speedy Monza. <laughs> Those of you who are camping, don't worry about it. And, uh, uh, on your way out, let Linda and the rest of 